Now this armbar is used when the opponent extends himself when he's being mounted. The important things to remember are to keep your hips tight to his arm and to have the thumb pointing up once you extend the armbar. First, you begin by trapping his arm, like so. Lift your opponent on the side and have him pinch between your legs and knee. Push his face down, sit up, and fall back. Having the thumb pointing up, like this. To apply pressure, simply raise your hips to break the arm. Now this next technique will be the arm triangle for mount. One of the easiest ways that I like to set this up is by first throwing punches from mount to bring the hands up, like so. Start throwing some hits. Once your opponent brings his arms up to defend, push the arm across, slide your hand down, and trap his arm with your own body. Once this is done, lock your hands together, safely dismount, and drop your hips. Once this is done, you walk around slowly. The next technique will be the arm and neck crank from the side headlock position. Now it's important to keep your weight on the ground for this and not to get bridged over to the side. The first thing I'm going to do is take my opponent's arm, push it in between my legs, and hook it like so. Once I've crossed my legs, I simply grab my opponent's head and arch back, putting pressure on the elbow and the neck.